Hello everyone, welcome to my channel NASAC. This is Johnny. Today I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your Docker's image automatically. In my previous video, I already showed you how to upgrade Docker Portainer from 1.24 to CE version 2.1.1 and also how to upgrade Potena to latest version. But the those methods are using command line tools. You need to enter in a couple of commands and go through the steps to finish them. In this new method, I'm going to show you using Watchtower list Docker to automatically monitoring your Docker's latest image and updating it automatically. This is the GitHub page for this project. The whole thing has been packaged as a container Docker, so the installation is going to be very simple. You just need to pull in this image. Let's start it, and I will show you all steps one by one without using command line tools. Here is the command and uh, steps when we do manual updating our dockers. So it's the uh, same as we did before. So we just stop the container, container and then pull latest one, delete the current one, and then recreate the container using command. So at least you need the four steps. Even you put the dash f command, then you also need a three step. Imagine you have tens of uh, dockers you need to do this all the time that will be really painful you also can use in some scripts to automatic update your dockers those all are painful but now we can use watchtower just a very simple command line tools you can use to start your docker or we can use in container i'm going to show you how to use container to install watch tower docker and uh, monitoring the update from registry after waiting the interval time the docker the container docker will get automatically updated this is our command line tools if you really like command line tools and uh, you want to use in command you can just copy this and then paste it into your ssh client and then you will bring the docker up this is the container we are gonna working on you, as you can see there's a new version is available 2.5.1 so we're gonna update it from 2.5.0 to 2.5.1 ultimately So we're gonna add a new cont container here. And, uh, we can set up a restart policy on less stop. There's one small thing we need to map in, which is we need to bind the socket file. Because this watchtower docker need to update the existing docker. So that's why we need this mapping. Just need to copy paste here, paste here, and we can deploy the container. That's the basic usage to install Watchtower. Very simple, you don't need to map any ports. After this container up and running, they're gonna monitor your existing Docker and update it if there's a new version released. By default, 
the command is like that. Unfortunately, we have to consider some real use cases, which is something we need to think about uh, clean up for the old images. Once you update the, with the new image, you need to clean up the old image. We need to add this command in. Also, currently, um, Watchtower will pull every 24 hours for the new images. And uh, for our demo purpose, I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it to 5 minutes, which is 300 seconds. So we're going to do that through the container. So we're going to choose Duplicate Edit button. And we're going to enter our command here. So there's one command is dash C, and the second command interval is we change it to five minutes. And then we deploy it again. We just replace the existing Docker with the same name. And then now, as you can see, we're going to run this command. Okay, currently it's 8.24, it's about uh, 7 minutes have been passed. And assuming update has been done on this one, automatically should be done by Watchtower. Let's go to dashboard. So it shows failure. Uh, it may be in uh, process updating. Let's uh, refresh page. It shows um, it's down right now. So most likely it's in the process, it's uh, upload updating. So let's give it another minute. Okay, we waited enough long, so let's refresh the page. Now seems it has been updated because the service has been rebooted. Let's log in. And now you can see it's 2.5.1. And we have three containers and Jinx container and the watchtower. So basically watchtower is running in background and monitoring all those uh, containers. If there's any new version come out, it will just automatically update it. Right now, since we changed the interval from one day to five minutes, we may want to change it back and by removing this interval 300 so that's uh, something i want to share with you guys today i uh, hope you like it if you like it give me a thumb up thank you for watching